welcome back to the channel guys, OFM Photo. My name is Matt and today, well I'm back, uh, first of all I'm back in Saguenay where I live. I'm not in Ontario no more. So that's fun and it's been a while. As you guys can see it's winter, lots of snow. The day is kind of dull so my hope is just to get maybe some nice snow covered trees. I'm on a local um, trail near the town of La Bay. It's really close to my house so I just wanted to get a, a little workout in and maybe do some woodland photography. Maybe take a couple shots of the fjord if, uh, if it looks nice. But yeah, I'm not gonna stay for sunset or anything like that because the sky's just awful. So I mean, it's just white, so. Yeah, no, so let's uh, get moving and see. See if there's any images worth taking. So let's go. So I made it to the highest point of the trail and there's uh, the big cross. Yeah, this was, this place here was the first time I ever took a landscape picture and this is where I got hooked. So usually there's a big view that we can see over here, but we can't really see it. So it's not the best day for, for me to show you guys the view up here. So yeah, I'm just taking a little break here just trying to dry off a bit before I keep going. I want to get to this. Uh, I can see it, but I don't think you guys can see it. There's like a little peak there. I just want to get to the base of that. And but yeah, no, this was this place here was actually the first time I ever took a landscape image with my camera. And I'll show you guys the image. It's not the best, but it's what got me into landscape photography. I was hooked just seeing the sunrise being here before everybody else. It was awesome. And then a couple of years later, I took the, my best image of this place, which is, is, is at the same spot, but just a telephoto shot. And I'll show you guys that image as well. And that's probably one of my favorite image of this uh, area. So I think there's some improvement in between both of those pictures. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about those. But yeah, I'm pretty dry now. So let's, uh, let's keep going. So I made it to the bay and I'm just scouting for some foreground here and um, I don't know, I, I'm not I'm not really good at winter. I don't know if it's the cold or I don't know what it is, but I'm not that great. Um, so I'm on the ice, uh, it's low tide, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, it, it, it cracks and creaks. Once in a while, maybe the tide, you know, it moves, so I'm not sure. Anyways, but uh, basically, I'm trying to find composition, and as soon as I got here, I was looking for, like, some big spikes and stuff, but I don't know. I don't really like it. I want something more subtle. I don't want, like, harsh edges or anything like that, so uh, I'm trying to, since, you know, the far distance is all white and soft and it's really it's really like a haze in the background i just wanted some softer details for the foreground so i opted for this uh i guess the main thing about my foreground is this like puddle 
and it has like a tiny little crack just enough so you see it but it's not like harsh you know what i mean so yeah this is what i opted for i just wanted this to get some some soft detail so since it's uh really really dull outside and it's really gray uh you have to remember like what you see on the camera it can, can it can mess with you so i remember last year i made this this mistake where you know taking a picture of a doll scene and then you look at the back of the camera and it looks fine but once you get back home they're all underexposed and uh and they're like basically unusable you try to like push up the sh uh, the highlights and it just it just doesn't look good so when you're in a doll scene like this here and it's all gray and and there's not much contrast um especially in the winter time with snow you want to really look at the histogram and make sure your histogram is as far right as possible without obviously clipping anything so that's just a tip just make sure you know to go in the camera settings and get the 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 histogram As expected, the ice was cracking and uh, I looked behind me and I saw some water so the tide's moving in so I decided to retreat because I didn't want to be, I mean I don't think, I think I would have been fine if I just came back here but I don't want to be stuck on the ice with water behind me and having to get wet to come back. Um, so I just got the one shot, maybe I'm going to keep looking around here and try to find something else but okay so i'm heading back just a bit on the ice um, because i think i found some nice foreground got some water with some uh, nice uh, snow covered rocks here so i think it's going to look good i'm going to try to kind of set up something here not much room to work with but we'll see we'll see what it looks like but yeah let's uh Let's compose this. So I kind of have to be quick because if the water is moving up, it's going to take over the snow covered rocks. So let's try to do this. All right, so I'm just trying two compositions and then uh, I went ahead because uh, I got a bit of water on my shoes. So yeah, that was a bit of fun. Almost felt like it was a sunrise or a sunset where I had to hurry up because, you know, the conditions are moving. So all I did was I put my camera to the like a safe, the safest possible, safest spot possible, and I just took the shot. I think I went up a bit higher on the aperture just to make sure I have a good uh, depth of field. Um, but other than that, I stuck at two different places, took two, two different shots and then got out of there. I didn't want to spend too much time in the water, especially in the winter time. So yeah, I think that one's going to be better because just it has a bit more contrast with the water dark. The, the water is really dark and you got the snow covered rocks. 
a nice uh, background. So I think that one's going to be a lot better than the first one. So it was a short session, but at least it gets me, you know, back outside. But yeah, two, two different compositions. I think the second one looks kind of nice. So tell me what you guys think and please like the video and uh, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, God bless. Mm -hmm.